Hi everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying the cockroach. Dead simple, very effective fly. I mean, obviously it's a tarpon fly but it works for a lot of different fish. Um, as always, we'll stick a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel access to the monthly fly tying classes and enter the giveaways. Right, so I've got my hook in my vise. This is a 2 Gamakatsu SC15. I'm just running on some black thread, two tendon ear danvils. A heavy thread helps for these flies. Helps you sort of build up the stuff you need to do quickly. I'm just making a wee bump at the back just to help sort of splay the, the tail. And stop it fouling. So for my tail I'm using grizzly hackles. These are neck hackles. Of a white and American neck. And I'm just going to line them up so that they're curving away they're all the same length offer them in on top pinch them in a couple of turns just to make sure they're sitting that will do it Take that forward a bit to lock them in and then I've got to sort of cut a taper in the butts and just tidy everything up. Single fibre that's annoying me there. Coming all the way down and all the way back up. You don't really need to but I'm just making sure everything's sort of smooth as I go. And making a tough wee fly. And I'm going to tie my collar in slightly forward of the, the tail. But before I do that, I'm going to get some head cement on and even let it come onto the hackle. I mean, it'll no foul anyway, but that does no harm just to stiffen things up slightly. Collar I'm using Red Fox Squirrel. I mean, you can use a lot of things. People use various hairs, like the back of a bucktail, the sort of brown hair. Um, grey squirrel dyed brown I've seen folk using like, arctic fox and fin raccoon as well any kind of brown hair will give you a decent cockroach so got a nice bunch of my squirrel tail and I want it sort of coming like halfway back into the tail there. And I'm just going to offer it around, take the two or three wraps around it, and just you can just spread it and tighten. You'll see it will try to spin a bit like deer hair, and you can adjust. Now, when you're happy that it's sitting the way you want, you can sort of tie back. I like my tying point to be like just behind the point of the hook. Something like that. And then it's just a case coming in, cutting a taper into these butt pieces. so that you can get a nice 
tapered nose and a secure tie in as well, right? If the squirrel doesn't compress, so you're catching more hairs than if you tie it at a, on a taper, if you cut it at a taper, rather than just tying a bunch in. Some of the middle hairs and bottom hairs might not really be getting any real compression or grip. Then just got to make sure everything's nice and clean. Smooth at the head. Some people like a shorter head on the cockroach, but I don't think it really makes any difference for the fish. Long wet finish just to match the taper of the nose. And then we'll get us three coats of head cement. Start with a nice thin one that will penetrate. I mean, I've thinned this down in pure acetone so that it soaks right in. And then I'll get a couple of coats of a, of a standard one once that's dry. There you go, dead easy, super simple, but a very, very effective fly. As I say, not just for tarpon either. Catch a range of species, it'll work for bass. I'm sure that like, you could use this for like, species like Barramundi and all that. Like, any sort of ambush predator that's attacking from below, this hangs quite nicely. You get the movement in the strip. So, Hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to bump the like button and I'll see you for another video. Hey, thanks guys, bye.